Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain to you one of the important topic in the Palo Alto Firewall is how to search through the log. Palo Alto Firewall have so many different kind of logs. If you see here on the monitor, go to logs, you will see traffic logs, you will see uh, thread logs, you will see URL filtering logs, you will see wildfire submission log, data filtering, user ID if you are enabling user ID identification in a zone, firewall will lock all the users coming through that zone. And you have decryption locks if you enable them. And you have configuration lock, which show you who is making changes to the firewall. And you will have uh, system related locks, authentication, all kind of locks. Searching through the locks, pretty much same for all these kind of logs. So if you know how to search through one log file, that will be applicable to all the log files in the Palo Alto environment. So we are going to look at how to arrange columns, how to remove columns, how to add columns, how to rearrange them, how to build simple filters, how to build complex filters and all kind of things related to the log. Say for example, you are going to go to the system log and going to find something in the log. These log files have different columns. The system log has the minimum amount of columns. If you go to the traffic logs, you have so many columns to pick and choose. To do that, just click on this arrow underneath any of these columns, it can be any column, and then click on the columns. You will see here there are so many columns, and whatever is checked is the one is going to show up here. Say, for example, if I don't want the port information, remove it. If I don't want the something here, time received, I can remove that, but time received is very important for a lock. And uh, say, if I don't want decrypt, I can remove that. And I can add app risk. I can say add by received, by send, that can be useful. And also, I can arrange these columns that is the most efficient to search through these logs. Say, for example, if I want time received in the first, I can just drag it over here. You see, I get the green check mark. That means it is movable and it's going to move where I am pointing the cursor. You see, now it is in the front and I can bring in the source IP next to time received. This way you can rearrange these columns that make sense for you. So let's go back to our system logs and we are going to search through something informational and general. You see there are so many different kinds here. I only need informational. If you click on something, it will appear here in the search row. And I'm going to click on the type as general. So this is going to be a combined search log. So I'm searching through two different columns. Click on this apply filter. You will only see informational and type general. So this is how you build a simple search in Palo Alto. If you want to do some complex search and you want to build some kind of filter, you just go to add filter. Before you add filter, just clear what you already have here. To do that, just click on this clear filter and go to add filter. I'm going to say and severity equal medium. Or you can select 
greater than or equal to medium that will bring in medium high and critical so click add it will come here you see severity greater than or equal to medium apply it will come to this row and click apply filter now you are going to see only the logs which is greater than or equal to medium severity and if you only need general you just click on this type and it will be added to your search here so you are using custom build filter and you are just using the simple filter you are combining all of them and you are building your own filter here so click on here apply filter you will see CBRT greater than or equal to medium and type equal to general so this is how you look for certain information in the firewall when you are troubleshooting in the Palo Alto environment so let's do another one go to user ID say for example if a particular user is having problems you want to look at the traffic for that particular user only just click on that user and click on the apply filter this will bring in only the user that you are looking for same thing with the other ones you can exactly look for certain information if you know how to use filter in palo alto firewall hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification